So, we made some moves. Let's talk about it. The Bengals have placed three players on the injury list. First off, as we know, when we drafted Eric All, he is still recovering from his ACL tear from college. So, he will be put on the active slash non-football injury list. In case you're wondering what that is, to be exact here, if we go to this one right here, Players who report to training camp injured or ill due to injuries or illnesses sustained outside of full NFL process or games can be placed on the active slash non-football injury or active slash non-football illness list while they recover. Player cannot remain on this list if they participate in process or a game during the preseason. Players on this list still count toward the 90-man roster. <clears throat> Prior to the start of the regular season, if a player on the active size so NFL list is still injured or ill by the final cut down date, they can be placed on the reserve size so non football injury size so reserve non football illness list and not count toward the 53 man roster limit. So, if he is not ready to go by the season, in theory, he's not going to count toward against us on the 53 man roster. So that almost guarantees he's going to make the spot on the roster no matter what. Nonetheless, though, he, we already kind of knew that when we drafted him that he might not play. Um, the other two guys are going to be Poison Ivy, which, I mean, towards ACL last year at the end of the season. So very obvious that he's not going to be okay to, you know, play this upcoming season. Um, oh, sorry, he's not going to be able to play at least for the beginning part of training camp, preseason, and potentially a season as well. And then Maxwell, we don't really know what's going on with him or what the problem is, but he is also hurt. Now, obviously, Maxwell is more of a practice squad guy. He's not really a startable you know, asset on our team. Most likely won't make the 53-man roster in the end unless some you know, freak incident happens injury-wise. But overall-wise, yeah, no. Maxwell is not going to be... It's not a huge deal if he is healthy or not when it comes to for training camp and comes for the preseason. I hope he's healthy, obviously, because, you know, he's on our press squad. He's one of our players. I love the guy. But at the end of the day, it's not going to matter when it comes to, you know, our 53-man roster. But Poison Ivy, who probably will make the... 53 man roster again. We gotta monitor him, keep an eye on him. And then Eric All, who again will make the NFL roster in the end. We gotta keep an eye on him as well. But both of them are recovering from ACL tears, so based on what we have understood, they both have timetables on when they're gonna be better, when they're gonna be able to process, when they're gonna be able to, you know, recover from these. So hopefully everything is good, no setbacks. And I'm hoping everything is fine. Keep in mind, guys, training camp is next week. So we are so, so close to being back at football. Um, we do have preseason in early August. Um, for August, if you guys are new to the channel, I will be live for every single preseason game. I will also be covering every single thing possible about training camp and talking about all the information we learn and all the information that gets said during training camp, we're going to be doing the best, the players who are doing the best, players who are doing the worst, predictions on how it's going to end up going, and all that kind of good stuff. So a lot of videos will be coming out on the channel the next couple weeks, especially once we get into preseason, okay? And now, of course, hopefully Zach Taylor does start our starters for preseason, but I'm not, you know, holding my breath on that one. Because he's not Marvin Lewis in that aspect. Zach Taylor does not like starting starters. But hopefully we see a, maybe a little bit of a change on that aspect. But guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.